Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. A little while back, I started a video series on blue light drops, and I started going down the line from cartridge to cartridge to go through, take them out to the range, and explain, based on that cartridge, the blue light droppage at different yardages. Go take you to the range with me, show you in real life what actually happens with me out at the range, and then just do some of that nerdy math calculation stuff and show you the drop all the way out to a thousand yards. Today's video is on the 270 Winchester. Very, very popular hunting cartridge all over the place. You know, if you ask a hundred people, what's your favorite hunting cartridge uh, for deer? I don't know. 40% of them might say the 270 Winchester. Lots of, lots of, lots of deer have been taken with the 270. Many people claim it is the ultimate deer cartridge or the ultimate hunting cartridge. I don't necessarily agree with that, but hey, lots of people say lots of things. Anyways, 270, I have taken a, a whitetail with 270. It did the job just fine. But in this video, I'm going to be taking out my Weatherby, what is this one called? The Vanguard Sporter. It's one of the more sophisticated rifles you will ever see on this channel. Uh, but long story short, I found it on closeout and got it for less than half of the retail price. That's why I have this. But very nice 270. I have a Zero Tech Vengeance scope on top of this baby. Super, super clear glass, good eye relief. If you're not familiar with Zero Tech, check them out. Uh, are good stuff for this video and for this example I'm gonna be taking to the range some Norma whitetail ammo it is a lead tipped 270 Winchester and these are 130 grain that's a pretty uh, standard grain weight for 270 Winchester 130 grain and it says these are supposed to be going over 3,000 feet per second so over 3,000 feet per second, 130 grain, that's no slouch. But the whole reason behind this, right, um, it, at least from, coming from me, is a hunting perspective. Um, I don't know many people that just take their 270 out to the range and go planking with it, um, go shoot 100 rounds. It's, it's a hunting round. Uh, you can plank with it, have, have, have at it, but the ammo is not necessarily cheap where you go fling 100 bullets of 270. But Norma... Um, hunting ammo. It's a lead nose round. Um, results will be pretty similar across the board if you use a blue light close to this one. But let's go out to the range. What I'm going to do, I'm going to verify my zero at 100 yards, uh, fling a couple blue lights at 100, just to show that this rifle's dead on or very close at 100 yards. It should be. Then I'm going to bring you back into 50 yards. What's the point in that? So if you're out deer hunting, um, this rifle sighted in at 100 yards. I need to know if a deer pops up at 50 yards, can I hold exactly where it's sighted in? Do I need to hold high? Do I need to hold low? And then I'm gonna take it out to 200 yards and see what that drop is. So rifle sighted in at 100 yards. How much is this 270 round dropping at 200 yards? A deer pops up at 200. Where should my hold be? And then I'm going to bring you back, and after we've seen that drop at 200, and I'm going to show you the drop all the way out to 1,000 yards, and also what your dials on your optics should be if you are into that long-range hunting, which I am, or you're just into that long-range plinking and you want to know what to dial your 270. Um, if you have some ammo that's close to this, it'll be pretty close. But check it out. That was a whole lot of rambling and talking about 270. I love all of them, but let's go out to the range, fling some blue lights, 150, 200. Then I'll show you some of the math all the way up to 1,000. There's three at 100. There you go. It's still ain't big enough. Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh, you're probably hitting it. Can you not dial it 
and tight. so you guys just saw what we had as far as drop results at the range here is a quick calculation that I've done out to a thousand yards put the data in here BC on this Norma 270 whitetail is a 0.359 on the G1 scale which is actually pretty decent for your basic lead nosed hunting round Obviously, if you got some kind of tipped ammo, more expensive match ammo, you could get a higher BC. But for that lead nose stuff, it's actually pretty good. Uh, bullet weight I put in there, 130. That's what it is. There's the muzzle velocity. And here's what the chart is spitting out for us here. Zeroed at 100 yards. At 200, it's saying our drop should be around 3 inches, which I think our average there was between 2 and 3 inches. So this is pretty accurate stuff here. If you're going to dial your scope for 200, you'd do 1.44 MOA or 0.4 mils here. And then you can see on down all the way out to 1,000. So at 1,000 yards, that, that 270 round is dropping 376 inches. At 500 yards, that 270 is only dropping just over four feet. So at 500 yards, uh, with a couple practice shots, assuming we could get a decent group, I think that ammo would be just fine to shoot out to 500 yards. But you can see after 500, it starts dropping quicker. But at that 500 mark, with this ammo, you'd be dialing 9.4 MOA or 9.5 MOA. 2.76 mils and then you can see here it goes under the sound barrier in between 900 yards and a thousand yards which is actually not too bad and over here a lot of you guys want to see the energy so the energy on this round if you go out to it's still above 1500 foot pounds at 300 yards a lot of people use that 1500 as a marker 400 yards, it's 1,200. 500 yards, you still have 1,000 pounds. Uh, but there you have it, guys. Hopefully, this helps you out. And again, if you're using similar ammo, it's going to be pretty close to this. But um, if you really want to know your exact ammo, you're going to have to plug in your ammo to one of these calculators. But if you're using some 130 grain lead nose, this is probably going to be pretty close, especially inside the three or four hundred yard range here but if you're hunting you definitely want to know this information you want that boo lot to hit exactly where you're holding on that deer or elk or whatever you're hunting there but this is the drop chart using that ammo out to 1000 yards so the whole point of this video series is to not just tell you some nerdy facts and be all kinds of boring but to actually take you to the range and demonstrate real world, real life scenario. So this Norma stuff on the box, most uh, most boxes have some sort of a chart on the back, ballistics chart, as Norma does. It says, if you zero it with this ammo at 100 yards, you're going to have a 3 inch drop at 200 yards. Uh, which is pretty much what we saw at the range, right? It was roughly the average, a three inch drop or so, maybe three and a half. I didn't measure it. I'll try to measure it in the next videos. Uh, exactly. But that's pretty close to what they actually have on the box. Uh, but Hey, there you have it guys. Really appreciate you watching this video on the 270 Winchester boo lot drop. Obviously, there's all different kind of projectiles, different ballistic coefficients, different speeds, different barrel lengths. But generally speaking, for a lead-tipped 
hunting round, your drop should be very, very close. Your tip 270 might have an inch or two shorter barrel than, than this Weatherby does. Uh, you might have a higher BC, but if you're using a lead nose hunting round, which is a lot of hunting rounds, uh, like similar to this normal whitetail, or if you're using this normal whitetail, this stuff is easier to find right now than a lot of others. That's why I'm using this ammo, because I've got more of it and I can find this a lot easier. But your results should be pretty, pretty close to mine and what I showed you in this video, even all the way out to a thousand yards if you're feeling froggy and want to try that. I have not taken the 270 to a thousand yards yet. Uh, I need to. That will be an awesome video when we do it. But appreciate you guys watching. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think about the 270 Winchester? Which cartridge do you want to see in this video series next? Really, really appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you sharing it with your friends, telling everybody about the Hootie Who channel. Make sure you're subscribed. Stay tuned for the next one. Tons of videos coming your way very, very soon. New videos every single day. Appreciate y'all big time. You mean a whole lot to me. Really, really do appreciate that. 270 Winchester, Boulot, Dropage. Appreciate you coming along. We'll see you on the next one. 270 Winchester.